Welcome, my friend. Thanks for joining me at the beautiful Kuao Bay on Maui. Today, I have a fusion of a Hatha and Yin yoga practice for you. I want you to be able to take the next 35 minutes to just breathe deeply. Be with your breath. Connect your breath with the movement within your body as we hold each posture. Be present with yourself. Feel balanced in your body and in your mind within your surroundings. With our intention set, let's get started. I'll join you seated at the back of your mat. We'll begin our practice today in a wide knees child's pose. So bring your knees and shins and tops of feet to the mat, your hips to your heels. And bring your big toes to kiss and open your knees as wide as you comfortably can. Let's find a nice long spine here. Taking a deep soothing breath in through your nose. And on your exhale, begin to melt your torso down through center, lowering yourself to the mat. Your arms extend overhead. Go ahead and bring your palms to kiss for prayer, inviting in gratitude as we hold this very grounding posture. Breathing deeply in and out your nose. Your heart melting closer to the mat with each exhalation. Feel your body melting into the ground as we flow today and hold our postures. Remember to breathe deeply, noticing your breath, the effects of your breath on your body within the postures, noticing the subtle sensations or feelings that may arise. Take a deep, slow inhalation through your nose and a long, slow exhalation out your nose. Once more, this time tuning in to the effects of your breath on your body. Slow, deep breath in, feeling your body expand. And a long, slow exhale as the air slowly leaves your body. Beautiful breath in. And on your exhale, slowly slide forward, lifting your hips and melting your heart to the mat. We're in a wide knees child's pose variation of melting heart pose or puppy pose. Breathe deeply. Stay with your breath. Feel balanced in your body and in your mind and your environment. If you wish, you can take any feel-good movements that may be calling to you here. Maybe swaying your hips side to side, giving a little love to your hips. From here, we'll press and lift up just enough so you can slide your right arm underneath you to the opposite side. We're taking a shoulder stretch. So really ground your right shoulder onto the mat. Your right side of face rests to the mat. Your palm is up to the sky. The left arm remains extended long and just allow your hips to yearn towards your heels. You may also wish to bend into your extended arm, bringing your fingertips to the mat to prop yourself up and deepening the shoulder stretch. You can also take a bind by bringing your left hand behind you and clasping where the crease of your hip is. Take whichever variation best supports you today and allows you to stay within the intent of the practice.
On your next inhale, slowly unwind and return to center. Then let's take that to the other side. And sliding your left arm underneath you to the opposite side, your palm face up to the sky. This time we're grounding down our left shoulder into the mat. Your left side of face kisses the mat. Take whichever variation of your right arm that you did on the other side, whether it's extended long, fingertips or propping yourself up, or taking a bind. Breathe deeply, directing your breath into any areas of tightness or tension you may be feeling. On your next inhale, slowly unwind yourself and return to center. From here, bring your knees into about hip width apart this time and melt your hips to your heels. Your arms extended overhead, palms kissing for prayer. Breathe deeply here. I'm going to share with you what our next flow will be. So now that we have set this amazing tone of being grounded, breathing deeply and being connected with your body within your surroundings. We'll invite this into our first flow. We'll next move into up dog to a down dog and then back to up dog and then we'll return here in child's pose. We will hold each posture for a few breaths before transitioning to the next. Let's bring our palms to the mat shoulder width apart. And on your next inhale, begin to round forward as you exhale, lowering your hips into up dog. Your legs can kiss the mat or lift up into full up dog. Your heart shines as you broaden across your collarbone. Breathe deeply in and out your nose. On your next exhale, we'll lift up through your pelvic floor as your hips rise to down dog. And taking your downward facing dog variation of your choice for our first down dog of our practice today. Sending your breath to the space of your low back. On your next exhale, slowly start to shift forward, coming into up dog. Tops of feet release to the mat. Breathe and connect. On the next exhale, your hips to your heels for child's pose. Beautiful. Let's take this once more at this nice, slow, steady pace, sinking your breath with the movement. On your inhale, begin to round forward as you exhale, lower your hips to looking up dog, lengthening your tailbone towards your heels, your shoulder blades squeezing together. On your next exhale, we'll lift up through your pelvic floor, coming to down dog. And let your sternum reach towards the mat, sending your breath to the space of your low back. And on your next exhale, slowly start to shift your weight forward, coming to up dog. Tops of feet kiss the mat. On the exhale, release your hips to your heels for child's pose. One more time, this time taking one deep nourishing breath between each posture. Let's flow to up dog, to down dog, to up dog, to child's. Lovely work, my friend. Begin to round forward, coming to all fours. Take a few rounds of cat-cow at your own feel-good pace. Marry your breath with the movement. Feel free to veer off from your typical cat-cow, letting go of any need for the perfect posture and just moving intuitively. 
welcoming all kinds of movement into your spine. Last round before you press your hips up to downward facing dog. Find your most beautiful downward facing dog. And then let's take 10 deep breaths here, breathing in and out your nose. And stay with your breath. And feeling your body expand on the inhalation and letting your sternum yearn to the mat with each exhalation. And your heels sinking to the mat, legs engaged. Go ahead and slowly start to walk your palms back towards your feet, coming into our forward fold. And bring your feet a little wider than hip width apart for a nice solid foundation. Really ground down through the soles of your feet into the earth and let your fingertips kiss the mat. Shake your head yes. And then no to help release any tension in your neck letting go of anything you may be holding on to. And now clasp opposite elbows to help your upper body relax fully weighing heavy. Notice any sensations, any holdings in your upper body as you breathe deeply here. A forward fold is a wonderful posture to actively release any negative stuck energy, stuck thoughts or feelings that do not support your healthy body and mind. So let's breathe in, taking up positive, loving energy from Mother Earth through the soles of your feet. And then on your exhale, let what no longer supports you pour out the crown of your head and give that to Mother Earth. Breathe in, soaking up love and light. And exhale, let go. Let it flow out of you, giving it to the earth. Release your fingertips to the mat. Take a generous bend in your knees so your torso kisses your thighs. And then let's tuck your chin to your chest and we'll super slowly roll up with the intent of one vertebrae stacking at a time. The head and neck will be the last to rise. And then we'll release your arms to your side, palms face forward. Take a moment here in mountain pose to feel the effects of your inversion. We'll be taking a balancing posture next, tree pose. So begin to shift your weight into your left sole of foot, grounding down. Hands to your hips as a reminder to keep your hips square to the front of the mat and side to side. Go ahead and place your right foot at your ankle, your calf, or lift and place your foot near your groin. A big old gust of wind blew me over here like a tree blowing in the wind, right? <laughs> so once you're in tree pose, find your drishti. Bring your hands to prayer to heart, or you can extend them overhead to the sky. Hug everything into the midline. Soft smile on your face. Breathe deeply as you hold, and maybe even sway like a tree in the wind. So if you fall, no worries. The ground is there to catch you. A 
slowly hug knee into chest. And from here, with control, we'll take a big step forward. We're setting up for high lunge pose. Your front knee over your ankle. Square your hips to the front of the mat. On your next inhale, reach your fingertips up to the sky. Draw your navel up and in. Your back leg is engaged. Heel pressing back to the mat. Breathe deeply. On your inhale, open up into warrior two. Your back heel to the mat at 90 degrees. Exhale into a nice long stance here, bending into your front knee so your thigh becomes parallel with the mat. With each slow exhalation, sink your hips even lower to the mat. On your next inhale, reach forward, up and back. Exhale as you settle into Peaceful Warrior. Your back hand comes to your thigh. Breathe and feel into your body within this amazing pose. And on your inhale, fan your arms coming back to warrior two. And then with arms extended long, slowly lower your front fingertips to the mat as your back arm reaches up to the sky. And lift your gaze to the sky, your chest spiraling up to the sky, but front ribs knitted together. Breathe deeply, pressing your hips to the side space. On your next inhale, rise up to warrior two, and then we'll fan your hands down to frame your foot. Step front foot back into plank pose, and in one long line, from your heel to your crown of head. Deep breath in, long, slow breath out. Breathe in, and on the exhale, slowly lower yourself to the mat. We'll come into our Sphinx pose next. So bring your elbows underneath your shoulders, your palms kiss the mat, tops of feet to the mat. Take this moment here to connect with your breath grounding down into the earth where your body meets the ground, grounding and breathing into your surroundings. Take a deep breath in and exhale, lower yourself to the mat. Slice your palms under your shoulders, tuck your toes, engage your core strength and in one long line we'll press up to plank pose and then to downward facing dog. Go ahead and clarify your foundation here. And this time we'll take five deep breaths here, breathing in and out your nose. And just stay with your breath, following it from start to finish. And slowly start to walk your palms back to your feet, coming into our forward fold. You can bring your feet a little wider than hip dense once more if you wish. Clasp opposite elbows. Just let gravity take hold and, and gently pull you down. Let's return to that active release of any negative stuck energy or thoughts that may not be serving you. So we'll breathe in, taking up love and light from Mother Earth through the soles of your feet. And then we'll exhale, let it pour out the crown of your head into Mother Earth. And release your fingertips to the mat, taking that generous bend in your knees, your torso kissing your thighs. Tuck your chin to your chest and slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. 
And release your arms to your side, palms face forward for mountain pose. Feeling the effects of your inversion. Eyes closed or soft gaze forward. Taking tree pose next. So begin to shift your weight into your right sole of foot, really grounding down. Bring your hands to your hips as that subtle reminder to keep your hips square. Place your left foot at your ankle calf or bringing up to your groin, whichever variation you took on the other side. Find your dristi. Hands can come to prayer or extend it overhead. Your sole of foot pressing into your thigh and your thigh pressing back, hugging everything into the midline. Breathe deeply. Slowly hug your knee into chest and then take that big step forward coming into our high lunge pose. Glance down, make sure your knee is stacked over your ankle and squint and square up your hips from front to back and side to side to the front of the mat. On your next inhale, reach your fingertips to the sky. Firm your navel up and in, your front ribs knit together. Tailbone lengthens towards the mat. Breathe deeply. On your inhale, go ahead and open up into warrior two, your back heel coming to the mat. Your front heel bisects your back arch. And get a nice long stance here. Bending into your front knee so your thigh becomes parallel with the mat. With each slow exhalation, sink your hips even lower. On your next inhale, reach forward up and back and exhale as you settle into Peaceful Warrior. Your back hand comes to your thigh. Make sure you remain bent in your front knee Really reach those fingertips back, spiral your chest up to the sky. On your inhale, fan your arms coming to warrior two. And then with arms extended long, slowly lower your front fingertips to the mat as your back fingertips reach up to the sky. And lift your gaze, chest spiraling to the sky your hips pressing to the space to the side. On your next inhale, we'll rise up to warrior two and then fan your hands to frame your front foot. Front foot steps to me back for plank pose and then our long line from the heels to the crown of your head will hold. Breathe in and long, slow breath out. Breathe in, and on the exhale, slowly lower yourself to the mat. This time, we'll come into seal pose, which is a yin posture. So slide your palms forward, fingertips spread nice and wide. Your arms are supporting your upper body as your hips really sink into the ground. The muscles of your booty are completely relaxed. Deep, conscious breathing. As you hold this, if it feels like it's too much, go ahead and lower back to Sphinx Pose. Deep, refreshing breath in. 
And exhale, release, palms slide under your shoulders and then press your hips back to your heels for child's pose. Child's pose is a nice counter pose to that back bend and seal pose. So breathe into the space of your low back. On your next inhale, let's round forward, coming to hands and knees, and bring your knees about hip width apart, setting up for a full melting heart pose. Begin to walk your palms forward as you melt your heart down through center. Your hips are stacked directly over your heels. Your forehead kisses the mat. Breathe into your back, feeling the spine lengthen in both directions. Your heart yearns towards the mat. Your armpits yearn toward the mat. Go and press down through your palms and walk back towards your body, coming to tabletop. And then we'll sit off to the side of your feet and extend those beautiful legs of yours out long in front of you. We're coming into a yin variation of seated forward fold. So let your legs soften and slightly bend your knees, your feet completely relaxed. Sit up nice and tall and then tuck your chin to your chest and slowly allow your body to just round forward. Your arms rest at your side. No reaching here. So go ahead and place your palms face up to the sky just before your knees. This will help prevent reaching forward. So just let gravity take hold. Let your head weigh completely heavy. Every muscle in your body is relaxed and melting closer and closer to the ground. Surrender into this pose. Surrender into your surroundings. Allow the earth to support you. Breathe deeply. Sending your breath through the length of your spine and into your legs. All right. Now flip your palms to kiss the mat ever so slowly and mindfully start to walk yourself back up breathe in and reach your arms up to the sky your feet flexed and on your exhale reach up and over towards your toes let your chest guide you forward this time beautiful go ahead and scoot your tushy to, towards the front of the mat to grasp the back of your thighs and on your exhale extend your arms long and really round back feeling a stretch between your shoulder blades and then slowly lower yourself to the mat hug your knees into your chest giving yourself some love and then from here we will take our final resting posture shavasana so let your arms take up as much space as they want your feet as wide as you wish, getting any wiggles or scratches out so you can settle into complete stillness for the next 60 seconds. Allow every part of your being, mind, body, and spirit to relax and let go. Let go of any breath work. Allow the natural rhythm of your breath to return. We'll have a short pranayama practice to follow, so stay with me here on your mats within your surroundings and just breathe. Go ahead and take any feel-good stretches before you roll over to your right side. Deep, soothing breath in through your nose. 
And a long, slow exhale out your nose. With your eyes closed and your attention remaining inward, go ahead and press yourself up and come to a comfortable seated position. To end our practice today, we're going to do the cycles of deep breathing. We want your inhales and your exhales of equal length. So let's practice with a 5-1-5 five, breath ratio and see how that feels for you. So inhale for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, pause at the top, and then exhale 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. How did that feel? If you feel like you need to shorten it, maybe do it for a count of 3 or 4. And if you feel like you can go a little bit longer, maybe do it for a count of six or seven. We are just focusing on long, slow, steady inhalations and exhalations. And as you breathe, I'll provide you cues to help you breathe deeply into your surroundings. So let's find that nice, vibrant, long line from your tailbone to the crown of your head. And softly close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out. And let's begin your deep breathing cycles with a breath ratio count of your choice. As you breathe, notice any soft sounds in your environment. On your inhalations, notice the temperature of the air in your environment traveling through your nose and into your body. And on your exhale, notice the temperature of the air that you're releasing into your environment. Now on your inhalations, take in the smells of your surroundings. Do the smells have an effect on your mood? Notice how your body feels in your surroundings, breathing deeply. the breath work go and allow your breath to return to its natural rhythm and just feel the effects of your deep methodical breathing and how the breath work affected your body mind and spirit within your surroundings Now take your deepest inhalation yet and reach your arms up to the sky, gathering love and light. Palms kiss and bring that love and light down to heart center. Bring prayer to your forehead, setting an intention to stay present and mindful of our thoughts, thoughts of ourself and thoughts of others. Hand lowers to prayer at your mouth. Setting an intention to stay present and mindful as you nourish your body. And hands lower to your heart. 
setting intentions to stay present and mindful of our actions, acting in love and kindness. Before you step off the mat and into the rest of your day, I invite you to take a moment now to set your personal intention for the remainder of your day to help you feel balanced in body and mind. Beautiful, my friend. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and tending to yourself and sending you and all beings love and light. Namaste. Comment below and let me know how it went. If you enjoyed, throw it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet to get the latest yoga love released each week. If you'd like to continue practicing with me, jump over to our Awakened membership site I currently have a 30-day free trial. I have yoga programs, meditation practices, and a library of content on food and nutrition and the art of healthy living. Love and light.